Good morning and welcome to Cologne. Um, I'm just in my room getting ready before I head out for the day. Um, so I arrived yesterday and I had such a good afternoon, honestly, like Cologne was such a vibe. Um, I arrived, I didn't realise that it was Pride weekend. So I arrived and I was like, why are there so many people everywhere? <laughs> And then I realised they all had rainbow flags all over them. And then I kind of put two and two together and I was like, oh, it must be Pride weekend here. And then, yeah, I came out of the station just as the parade was starting. Um, and then when I got to my hotel, which is at Friesenplatz, um, yeah, the parade was like properly kicking off. So I checked in and then walked down, watched the parade for a little bit. I saw the Amazon truck, and for those of you who don't know, I work for Amazon in the headquarters in London, um, in the London head office. So yeah, that was cool seeing my fellow Amazonians on the truck. Um, so I cheered them on and then I went to one of the oldest pubs in Cologne for a breakfast and culch. I'm still not a fan of beer though. <laughs> I really don't like beer. It was definitely better than other beers I've tried, but I'm just still not a fan. Um, and yeah, then for dessert, I had like a weird kind of like apple fritter thing, which was actually really good. It had like almonds and custard with it. And then, yeah, I just went up to the, the cathedral. I went to Sunday mass at the cathedral, um, got my bonus Catholic points in <laughs> and then headed back down to the hotel and got an early night. So yeah, so now I'm up bright and early, it's Monday morning, so I'm gonna go for breakfast and then I'm going back up to the cathedral to see it properly, because when you go for mass, you can't walk around or anything, obviously you're like sitting in a pew. So I wanna go back and be able to walk around it properly and see everything. And then I'm gonna to go to the 4711 Museum because I love their perfume and yeah we'll see what else happens with the day um there are a couple of churches that i want to go visit like smaller ones um yeah anyway come with bye My little chair in my room um i've just had an uh, i've just had an hour in my room just to chill and enjoy the air con and drink loads of water and charge my phone because it is another 34 degree day today <laughs> it's ridiculously hot um but i've done so much and honestly i'm like in love with this city before i came here everyone said to me you're gonna hate it it's really boring it's dull it's really ugly and I don't know, I just like, I like the vibe of it. And I don't think it's that ugly. Like, sure, there are loads of hideous buildings that were built after World War II, because um, World War II basically like obliterated the whole city from the bombings. But there are some really, really beautiful buildings still standing. And like every street you'll see kind of like one or two of them. Um, and yeah, and like the old town area, there are loads of old buildings, not on the main old square. Like there are a couple on the main on the main square, but a lot of them are kind of down the side roads. And 
yeah, I just really enjoyed it. Um, and then I also did, like, there was this experience you can do. It's the 1926 time ride. And when I first saw it, I was like, it seems a bit gimmicky. But actually, it was amazing. Like, it was, I think it was 17 euros or something because it's a weekday. And you basically, it's like a kind of immersive experience. So you go into, like, a little film and you watch a little film and then you go through into, like, a hat shop from the 1920s and it's all decked out like it would be in the 1920s and you're it's kind of they explain the hat making process and what hats were popular then and then you're taken through onto a tram like an old 1920s tram and then while you're on this tram you put on like a VR headset and you're literally transported into the 1920s like obviously not literally you're not like it's not time travel but it feels like it. You're literally just in this VR headset. And it was incredible. It takes you like all around Cologne in the 1920s. And I was gobsmacked. Like I actually like was choking back tears at one point. I was very emotional. <laughs> it like, it was absolutely stunning. So beautiful. The whole city. It looks like a much emptier, cleaner, prettier Paris. And honestly, when I looked at it, I was just like, this is unreal how it used to look like that. And now it looks like this. And oh, bloody hell. I mean, honestly, you guys need to come here. You need to do that VR thing just to see it and just to see the before and after. Because I'm still shook by it. I'm still try trying to process what I saw and um yeah like it was just mad being in this VR headset thing and seeing the cologne that my ancestors would have known and would have walked around and would have enjoyed and it feels really strange that that's gone and now you've just got these hideous <laughs> hideous like 1950s and 60s buildings that are just awful um but then it makes you really appreciate those really old buildings that are still there because then you walk past them and you see them and you kind of stop and you're like, wow, this whole city would have had buildings like that. Oh, I'm just, I'm still, I had a moment, but I um, would highly recommend it. It was fascinating. It was so good and 100% worth the money. Um, and yeah, anyway, so now I've had my chill out sesh. I'm gonna, it's like half five, so I'm gonna go get some dinner because I did not have lunch. Instead, <laughs> instead, after the time ride experience, I went to Cafe Richard, which is apparently like one of the oldest cafes that's still around. Um, and I had strudel. I had apricot strudel instead. So I need some proper food now. So I'm gonna go and have an early dinner at one of the beer houses. Basically this trip, I want to try as many beer houses as possible. Like the only places that I'm going to eat actual food is beer houses. <laughs> I just love the concept of them. It's basically like our pubs, right? Um, so yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'll see you in the beer house. Last day in Cologne and I'm just walking to the cemetery <laughs> because every holiday I go on I have to go to the cemetery. <laughs> um, no, I'm gonna go see if my great 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 grandmother's grave is still there but I'm not sure it will be because in Cologne they have this thing where if it's like after a certain amount of time or a certain age they can repurpose the grave. So we shall see but yes yeah, so I'm gonna do the cemetery this morning and then go back to the cathedral just have a look around there, get some lunch, and then head to the airport. And that's my trip done.